Dave, the ECB has come out to say that far too high inflation is to last for an extended period. But can you first of all just talk us through what the bank has just announced? Well, this is a pretty mammoth interest rate hike. We knew they were going to hike interest rates, but the big question is whether they'd go for this higher 75 basis points option. Uh, that during that press conference, President Lagarde acknowledged that there were differences of opinion around the table, but in the end, the vote was unanimous. They did support this 75 basis point increase, and that is a pretty big deal. I mean, just earlier this summer, they increased rates for the very first time in a decade. The ECB has really held rates down, even into negative territory for so long, even as other central banks, like in the UK, like in the US, were increasing rates. But today, this was really the moment where the ECB acknowledged that strategy is completely over, that they are now in an urgent situation. Now, Lagarde outlined a vision where this interest rate hike and further interest rate hikes to come. The goal is to get inflation down to 2% by 2024. That's a pretty big ask given that we just hit 9.1% interest in the Eurozone in August. But she said the situation with rising energy prices is driving inflation. And the, the goal now for the ECB is to get that down. Now, Dave, for those of us uh, watching now that maybe don't understand just what that announcement might actually mean, what does it mean for people living in Europe? Well, this will mean uh, that interest rates kind of follow the set interest rates for some time. So in terms of what it directly affects, this is really stuff that's probably outside of most people's financial activity. But this sets all other types of interest rates. So this means that generally interest rates will be going up on, let's say, home loans, on what you would earn from a savings account in a bank. Uh, and that's been pretty low for a very long time. I'm sure anyone with a savings account knows that for a very long time they haven't gotten there. So this will trickle down into the interest rates that general people experience. Okay, Dave Keating, our correspondent there in Brussels. Thank you very much.